Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at dynamically displaying images in Power BI tables, matrix visualizations and our dashboards. And we're going to look at how we can do this uh, within a well-presented dashboard uh, and some nice clean design and how we can power up a few things for our end users. We'll look at adding dynamic images, spark lines and email icons to a table make things a bit more useful for report consumers, things that we need to consider, custom visualizations, and using DAX to cleverly display manager names based upon slicers. Also, with the information here, you can join my LinkedIn Power BI community and check my website for blogs and services. So we have our dashboard here. This is pretty much a concept dashboard that we could build upon to drill down into employees and manager performance. You can see we've got a nice table here where we're looking at a manager. We've got their photos, their clickable email icons, the regions they work in, their performance score in a sparkline. I've just covered sparklines. So if you do want to look at this, feel free in a previous video, I'll link it. Now I'm also gonna show you where I source my images. So for the flag icons, there's a great GitHub data set that lets you drill down on 256 countries by their two letter code. So for example, FR would be France. And all we need to do now is right click and select the copy image address. And we can bring this into our data set in the form of a hyperlink. And I'll show you how we convert this to an image within Power BI. I've also covered unsplash.com before, and I've got my headshots from here. It's royalty free and it's the same practice we want to copy our image address, not our link address, because that won't work. Import that into our data set, and I'll show you when we're in Power BI, how we almost activate that as an image. So looking at our data briefly, it's not heavy. This was just Kaggle data that I've modified and brought in for the purposes of this tutorial. The important aspects, if we go into the data tab are going to be the manager details. So if we click on this area, we see that we have the manager names and nationality, the department, but that flag, as I said, I'm just pasting in the copy image link and the same with the manager photo. But that's not the end of the process. <clears throat> so we do the, we'll look at how we can convert the type to activate that image. And also within our manager email, I've got, again, mock data with my company domain on it, but you need to add the mail to in the column and then we activate it in a slightly different way. So we'll piece that together and it will all start to make sense. So if we look at our manager photo and let's say we click we don't check it, we click on the item itself within the fields. The data category has to be image URL. When you import this as standard with just the hyperlink, it won't be, and that's why you may not see an image within your tables or matrix visualizations. You can see it could be one of these other types, but you can convert this to image URL. You'll notice if I select web URL, it will just show me a link that won't work. So it needs to be on image URL within the column tools when we click on this specific column within our fields well. Same case with the nationality flag, which is actually in our region section in our table. That's the region our managers represent. Again, it's on image URL and, and that's what we need to do to activate it as an image. So if you aren't seeing an image, there's a good chance that that's why. So in a similar case, in the manager email, you can see I've got this nice clickable icon. Well, this actually needs to be within the column tools of our column manager email. This needs to be represented as a URL icon, but you do have to turn on the URL icons within our visualizations and our formatting. I'm using the old style formatting pane. Um, so within the URL icon, if we search for that, you see if I turn it off, it isn't the icon. And if I turn that on, we get that nice clickable icon and 
yeah, if we were to click on that, we would have the opportunity to email that, that manager in a real world case. We've also got the nice spark lines. Again, these are great. I covered these in my last video. It's a new feature in December 2021. And I've selected the markers to represent the highest and lowest scores. Fantastic for making quick insights and data-driven decisions. You'll notice here as well, I've just got a normal shape and we're going to use that as a foundation when we begin to import our images. And here in this card, I've actually got a, a nice bit of DAX. It's an if function. And essentially what it's doing, feel free to pause this and look at it, but it's, it's telling us that when we select a manager with the slicer, when we filter something, it's going to add that piece of text to the manager and it's going to add the manager name from that column as per our selection. If not, like we see right now, it'll simply state no manager selected. So this is all gonna to piece together soon. But you'll see if I select something within the slicer now, we are getting the relevant table. And also that card is reflecting the correct manager. So even with our images, it's a nice way to filter through. And I've clicked on the email icon, obviously this is fake data. It's not gonna work, but you can see that the functionality works fine. So in order to dynamically display images within our dashboard, we need this custom visual that I've already got installed. It's very good. So if you click on the search bar within our app source or custom visualizations and look at image by cloud scope, you can add this to your visualizations. I didn't need to because I already have it here. And it's very simple to, to begin formatting and adding images. And it doesn't require DAX to dynamically change images either, which is very nice, especially if you're you're just either beginning on your Power BI journey or you're an intermediate and you're still not too sure of DAX. This is fantastic. So when we have this positioned, I've chosen to put it on top of a shape just for a bit more 3D effect. You don't have to, it stands out a bit more. All you need to do is drag the image URL for the manager photo in or, or any column that you want to be represented with an image URL. Now, I'm actually going to add two so that I can add a nationality flag too to represent the region um, that they work in. You'll notice that it does automatically, the visual, it jumps to the first URL image even when there's nothing selected. You could get around this with different slicer choices or bookmarks. Um, but, you know, in this case, it, it's, it's not too important. And also that DAX that we've, we've added to show the manager and it's telling us that no manager selected helps. So now that everything is set up, you can see my DAX card shows no manager selected. I can now start to click on managers and everything moves simultaneously, which is great. We don't rely on DAX, the relationships are established. The manager name is moving as per our dynamic measure and so are the photos and the nationality in tandem, which is great because we could actually select options with another slicer or by the, the nationality flag, and we could start to compare and make further insights like our American, uh, is the American region outperforming Europe and so on. And it's just really nice. It's not too complex. Everything moves in tandem and you can draw really quick insights. As usual, if you enjoy this content or find it helpful, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.